Hello everybody and welcome back to day 20... 20 of the 100 days of making comics challenge. Today I wanted to talk about not worrying so much about perfection. And what I mean by that is it's good to strive to make something to the best of your abilities, but that does not mean that you have to strive for perfection. Um, and I have, for years and years and years, struggled with stopping myself from putting too much pressure on the things that I do by by thinking that it has to be perfect and it always has to be amazing and if it's not then it isn't worth is it, it isn't worth um putting it out there and that's like that's just a terrible way to think of things uh because we're not robots and so perfection is like literally impossible. Um, it's, we can do things beyond human capabilities with the aid of tools, but even with the aid of those tools, it is still impossible to make it machine perfect. And like an example, uh, you can see that I am drawing a sketch of my first page of my comic, uh, The Forgotten Ones, and I could have used a straight line ruler um, when I was like doing the sketch, especially for something as geometric as the house. But I kind of wanted that human imperfection in the sketch, at least. Um, probably going to do like a straight line ruler with the thing, with the very, very long straight lines, um, like with the roof and the porch and all of that. Um, because it just slants way too much for those long lines. Um, but even then, I'll probably, like, not make it too straight because then it would look incongruent with the rest of it. But I purposefully didn't use a straight line tool. Um, and it would have helped. It would have turned what was very, very obviously hand-drawn house into a much more um, perfect house just by virtue of the lines not being wobbly and the lines not slanting um, downwards. I am right-handed, so I find that a lot of my work starts out good on the left-hand side, and then as I go across the page, it starts going a little down. Um, and that also can be blamed on my setup as well. My drawing tablet is, like, rests on its cardboard box that it came in, um, and so there's nothing that holds it except the rubber that, the rubber traction thingies on the bottom of it that holds it, like, that it, so it doesn't slip, but it still slides, like, down incrementally because there's nothing supporting it from the bottom, so sometimes I'll be like, why am I failing at doing this, like, line? And then I'll look and I'll see that my tablet has, like, is, like, crooked, and that's why. Um, but also, it's just, you know, that's human nature to not make something look nice. <laughs> Uh, like that. Well, I guess I, I shouldn't have said it like that. It's human nature to 
Well, it's... What am I saying? Not human nature. It's... What makes us human is that imperfection. And... The thing is, is that no one expects perfection from your work except for you. Um, even, like, the most famous people of their craft have mistakes or have things that they consider um, not up to scratch. And I think that it's, like, really, really terrible for your progress as an artist to put that kind of impossible expectation on yourself. And that was something that I had to consciously remind myself as I was sketching this, this uh, first page. One, that it doesn't have to be perfect in order to be good, and it doesn't have to be amazing in order to be good enough because it's impossible to for it's impossible to make a page perfect and it is also not necessary to make this page amazing it would be nice but it's not necessary and that's just talking about the end result where the page is completely finished but I'm only sketching it, and so it doesn't even have to be good, <laughs> like at all, in this stage. It just has to be enough for me to make it better later on, and I think that's also something that I struggle with, too, is that I forget that I can go back and fix it later. Like, I start drawing something, and even though it's a sketch, I get into this, like, groove of, okay, this is like a finished piece. And I think that's my illustration background um, coming into play because I never used to do thumbnails, only when I was doing a very large, um, a large hyper-realistic acrylic painting, like in real life would I do a thumbnail, and even then I would only like thumbnail just to get like a general pose. So it was like really really loose and like stick figures, basically the um, thumbnailing that uh, you've been seeing. And then I'd like quickly shade it in or like quickly paint over it to get the values and like the, the very very basic colors down, and then I'd just like go right in. And when it comes to my digital illustrations, I never thumbnailed, like, at all. I'd only have, a, like, the finished image in my mind, and then I would have whatever reference photos I gathered for it, and that was it. And then I'd go directly into um, sketching, and then I'd, when I made the sketch, well enough to be like, okay, uh, this, I can stop now and I can go on to inking. Um, when I did that, it was with the knowledge that it's a one-time piece and it had to be good. <laughs> so I guess like that practice kind of um, rubbed off or influenced how I went into doing comic pages because it's because technically a comic page and a f and an illustration are the same are, are the same they're both images on one you know page um, and they convey a story or whatever, depending on what you're painting. Personally, I like to do uh, kind of portraits 
so it'll my illustrations convey a a personality a subject but comic pages aren't the entire story one page is not the entire story unless you're doing a single page comic and, and uh, but then then it is the entire page but if, it, if you're doing a one-page comic, what I'm saying kind of doesn't apply because in that case you would try to do your uh, very best in, um, in every stage of the process because it is only one page. So like an illustration, it's like, okay, you only get this one thing to make it good. But a comic page is a fraction of the entire art. And I have to keep thinking about the big picture, which is that a person looks at this page for like two seconds and they will move the fuck on. And I know that in in years, years later, I will look back on this and no matter how hard I try to make this page absolutely phenomenal, I could spend weeks on just this single page to make it the best I could. But from years, but years later, I know that no matter what, I'll look back and I'll still find something that I wish I did better or that I notice is not actually good, or oh, um, I shouldn't have done this. Um, and it's not that I am terrible at art, and so no matter how hard I try, I can't make anything good. It's just that the it's just that by virtue of being a human being, there is always room for improvement and so though i do try to make it look nice i am not going to beat myself up over it not being the most amazing comic page i've ever seen because it is only one in a hundred to two hundred potential pages of my story and it is only it is only, you know, the very first page. So, um, hopefully whatever you're working on isn't making you feel terrible. Um, cause that's terrible to have expectations for yourself and then not meet them and then feel like you're a failure. And, you know, it's, um, it's always a work in progress to adjust your expectations for a human's capability of producing it, and also your personal capability of producing it. You always want to be kind to yourself. Um, I know that some things about this page in the sketch portion I wasn't happy with when I finished for the day, but I told myself I could spend hours trying to fix it and I still won't be happy by the end of the day because sometimes you just gotta put the pencil down and walk away and in the morning you'll look at it take two seconds to think, now why wasn't it working yesterday? And then bam, it'll be there. You'll be like, oh, it's because um, this proportion is off. That elbow needs to be there or that um, eye line needs to be there. Or, oh, it's because um, the pose just isn't working. So I need to change the pose entirely or something like that, you know, because it, it's the same principle of when you flip your canvas is you're looking at it in a new perspective. You're forcing your brain to not just 
look at what it's been looking at, and so therefore it fills in gaps without actually really processing it, and it forces it to see it as if it had never seen it before. And I know that that um, when I go back to it, I'll be able to make it better. And yeah, that's just what I gotta keep in mind is it doesn't have to be perfect, and if it's not good right now, I can make it good later. I have all of the time in the world because I am self-employed. <laughs> um, and yeah, so hopefully this helps literally anyone. Um, art is hard, <laughs> and in this day and age when you're surrounded by other people's works, sometimes it's hard to remember that they're only showing you what they are proud of and not the things that they aren't proud of, so you could easily forget that there are sketches and thumbnails and thrown away drafts of a comic page or an illustration or anything that they aren't showing you. And I think that's also something that's super cool about this challenge as well, is that I'm forced to show you the things that I would not have shown you otherwise. Like some of these episodes, I wouldn't have posted if I wasn't bound to post every single day. Um, well, my schedule isn't every single day, but I do record all of the days. So yeah. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be amazing. It just has to make you smile, I guess. And this page does make me smile, even looking at it as it is right now. Um, it isn't even finished, and I'm thinking, oh my god, I love it. <laughs> so, just look at your work and say, oh my god, I love it. Um, because it's good. I don't even know what your work looks like, and it looks so good. So, I'm proud of you. You can do it. You can continue. Um, don't feel bad, because you have your entire life to improve. That's what's great about art, is that it is a constant learning game. There's, at no point do you ever reach a point, like, there's, like, no time in your life as an artist do you reach a point where you cannot at all improve. Uh, which I think is amazing. It really does, it really does put things in, into perspective. So, I'm gonna stop rambling now. I'll let you go. Uh, and hopefully you, you feel better if you were feeling bad about your art. Um, I really strive to make these videos as honest as possible. Um, I'm not gonna pretend that I'm some kind of art guru. I only give advice that I am comfortable giving if, like, someone had asked me in real, like, in real life, hey, what do you think about this? And I would say, oh, I think this and this. Um, and I'm also not gonna pretend that I don't make terrible art sometimes, because <laughs> I do. Uh, so, I'm actually gonna let go now. Uh, gonna stop, let you go. Uh, so thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video.